Hey guys, Jonathan with Firebox Campaign. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, listen, I forgot my mic today, so if it seems like I'm shouting at you, I do apologize. Uh, forgive me on that one. You can comment down below how much of a dummy I am for that, but I uh, thanks for watching this anyways. It's going to be a cool review. I'm going to be going over the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. Um, before I get into the to the review, guys, uh, a couple disclaimers. A friend of mine lent me this gun for the review, so it is not my gun. I did not get it from CZ. I have no affiliation with anybody. He lent it to me just uh, so I could give this information to you all. So be uh, understand that this was uh, a loner. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. All that really helps me out. It grows the channel. I do appreciate the support from y'all. If you like this kind of content, smash that subscribe button so you can be up to date with all my new releases. I'm trying to do at least one video a week. Sometimes life's gets in the way, so be patient, guys, uh, trying to get out new content. So what is the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1? Well, it's a 9mm pistol caliber carbine slash submachine gun. Manufactured it in the Czech Republic, and I'm going to probably butcher the shit out of this. Cheska Brodjufka Yurovsky Brod. That's not actually not so bad, I don't think. So uh, 9mm pistol caliber carbine. It does come with two variants. Uh, it comes with the S1, the semi-automatic variant for civilian use, which this is. And it also has an A1 variant or a full auto variant for police, military, special operations, that kind of thing. And uh, guys, this gun is used all over the world. Even Canada has adopted this in their police force, believe it or not. Uh, I don't know to what extent, but you know, with Canada with their gun laws recently, they're kind of a-holes. Uh, but it's used all over the world by all different police agencies. So it has definitely gone through its paces in the arena of firearms. And it has proven itself reliable and just a fun thing, a uh, fun firearm to shoot. This is the third generation Scorpion. Uh, so the Evo 3, that means the three is the third generation. They do have an Evo 3 Plus out to, uh, now that has some slight upgrades um, because this one has a few negatives that people didn't like. CZ, I hope, listened to that and then created the 3 Plus. I don't know why they didn't just call it the Evo 4, but it's the 3 Plus. This is the, uh, not the 3 Plus, so just be uh, aware. So um, it's pretty lightweight. This thing is completely polymer. Comes in at roughly six pounds. It has a 7.7 inch barrel and uh, the overall length unfolded is 26 inches. So pretty small, compact little package. The folding stock on it is pretty sweet. Uh, it doesn't lock into place, but it folds and stays shut. It doesn't really come undone. Um, and folded is 16.1 inches. So this will fit in a bag, in a trunk, under a seat, under a coat, whatever you want to do with it pretty, uh, pretty easily. I put it in a 511 backpack with no problems coming down here to the range. Uh, a little few details and we'll get into kind of a tip to butt review. Uh, so this is a blowback operated carbine, meaning it uses a gas system to operate the bolt. Uh, again, this gun is, I would say, 85 to 90% polymer. The entire uh, chassis frame is all polymer. The only thing I iron, um, iron on here are probably some internals, the sights, the barrel, and that's probably about it. Uh, so just a quick tip to butt, guys, uh, review. Um, this is a birdcage kind of style muzzle brake. Uh, it's a flash hider. I said muzzle brake, excuse me. This is a flash hider. It does unthread so you can put, um, you can put uh, suppressors on here if you like, a direct thread, or if you want to put a different kind of chemo adapter on there, that's probably okay. Uh, it does come up front with standard Picatinny rails on both sides. This gun is basically completely ambidextrous, so it will fit anything you want to put on it. And it comes with one on the bottom too for some hand stops or if you wanted to put a light or something underneath. They call these some M-Lock slots on here, <clears throat> these little tiny slots here. So I don't know what kind of M-Lock you're going to fit in that tiny little space, but it does have that for your, for your pleasure. Uh, the charging handle uh, is ambidextrous. You can swap this to either side. Currently it's on the left and it is kind of like an MP stylish. So you slide it back, lock it back, and then you can slap it home to release the bolt. Now the magazines on here are 30, it comes with 10, 20, or 30, these are 30. I will notice though that when the magazine is inserted, the bolt's locked back. You cannot use the slap technique, you have to use the bolt release, which is, sorry, on this side. But um, push that down and the bolt slides home. Uh, real quick to mention about the charging handle, let me go back a minute. It is non-reciprocating, so when you fire the gun, it stays put, it does not come back. So when you put your support hand 
uh, there it won't be hitting you in the knuckles or anything so that's cool uh, and it is swatch swappable so if you're like it on the other side you want to come over and do it that way that's fine too or for your lefties so it's on this side of the gun for you no problem at all uh, the bolt in here um, I don't know what to say about it I haven't really taken this gun apart but it locks back it slams home uh, bolts fine the magazine releases are um, it's one piece so if you can kind of see under here how this uh, magazine releases one whole piece uh, they say it's ambidextrous but it's just kind of covers the trigger guard there to cover both sides um, and it's fine you can come up you can hit it it's a thumb press and you pull your magazine out the magazine sit seat no problem um, I do kind of like how that's there so when you're reloading you can come down hit that paddle and drop your magazine uh, speaking of the magazines, they are 10, mil, 10 round, 20 round, and 30 round you can get uh, if you're California compliant. The magazine insertion is beveled, uh, magazine well is flared, so if you're kind of coming in at an angle or whatever, it'll guide it in. That's a nice feature that has. Again, this is entirely polymer, polymer frame, but you really don't notice the polymer that much when you're shooting it and handling it. it it's very ergonomically well. The only thing I don't like about it is the grip. And they do offer some aftermarket support for these guns, so you can swap this grip out for something else. Just Google search CZ Scorpion parts, uh, and I'm sure you could find an aftermarket grip. The texturing on it is almost nothing. They have some texturing on the back, on the side, and on the front, but the texturing really isn't all that great. Um, I don't have any problems gripping the gun, but it, it, it is a little slippery, so. That's probably a first upgrade I would do if you if you get into an Evo 3 is replace that grip. Secondly, the safety lever, fully ambidextrous on both sides, right? Um, but when you're shooting, your trigger finger kind of sits on that safety. Even when it's uh, in fire position, it clears it a little bit more, uh, but it, it's a little uncomfortable when you're shooting uh, to have that safety kind of hit your finger. On the 3 Plus, I do believe they have fixed that, so that is no longer a problem. But just be aware, that kind of hits you. It's not game changer. It's not going to like make you not want to shoot the gun, because the gun is a fucking blast to shoot. But uh, just be aware that that kind of hits your finger. The stock is not a stock. It's a brace. Thank you, ATF. Um, and it is foldable, which is nice. has a little clip on this side. All you do is push down the button and folds down and it deploys easy it locks into place there's a little bit of wiggle um, in the in the locking mechanism if you can see kind of wiggles a little bit but again it's not noticeable i don't have any problems maintaining uh, good ergonomics on this firearm uh, with that so uh, it's negligible um, what else so 1913 picatinny rail on top from front to back so you could light put uh, late put night vision uh, whatever you want on the front Wherever kind of one of you put a red dot, currently I don't have one. The sights on here are steel uh, or probably some sort of um, reinforced aluminum, 7076 T3, I don't know. I didn't look that up, so sorry. Uh, the rear sight's pretty cool. It is fully adjustable. It comes with, um, I'm going to fold this so you maybe can get into the camera and see it a little better. Um, three apertures. So it has a, a large, you fold it down. Excuse me, That this one's the large, a small, a medium, and back to the large. So you can get um, a better side picture at different distances you're at. For close range, you wanna use the larger one. For far range, maybe the smaller one. The front sight post is uh, just a pin style uh, post there. I have no problem picking it up. It's not illuminated though. So if you like a high-vis front sight, um, you could probably switch that out at some point, uh, but currently it does not have that. And um, kind of a U-shaped chassis for that front post to kind of protect it. So lastly guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, the trigger. The trigger on this isn't great. It's not horrible. It's not great. It is what it is. Uh, mil spec, kind of heavy. You get a lot of, couple millimeters of mush there, and then you hit it. I don't even feel a wall, it just kind of breaks. Um, the reset on it is loud, it's audible, it's tactical. Again, little mush there. You hit a little bit of a wall, and then it just kind of breaks. It's a heavy trigger, the reset. It's a heavy trigger, I don't know what the poundage is on it. Um, it's gotta be eight, nine pounds, it's a heavy trigger. But it is ergonomically well put. My finger reach is fine, I don't overreach, I don't underreach. It's just kinda right there. 
Uh, so yeah, the trigger is okay. I'm sure there's also upgrades out there for it if you want to upgrade that trigger, which I probably would if this was my gun, but it is not. I have to send it back. But I'm probably going to upgrade this to a 3 Plus, guys. I actually had so much fun shooting this that I, I'm i going to get an Evo 3 Plus for myself. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Like, comment, subscribe, guys. The Scorpion Evo 3 S1, again, the civilian version, non-fully automatic. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? Do you like it? Have you shot one? What would you do differently? Upgrades, all that cool stuff. Comment down below, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to say it again. Love y'all. Every time, that's what keeps the channel going. Let's push the 2A community to its fullest, guys, because our rights are getting taken away day by day, and we can't let it happen. So, party on. Love y'all. Have a good day.